Welcome back. I think this may be the absolutely most exciting segment we've ever had to date. And I, I just can't even intro it. So take a look at this. Bill Gates slammed coronavirus testing in the U.S. in an interview with CNBC, saying that most tests are a complete waste because it takes too long for results to come back. It's possible that waiting for results to come back could mean your life or one of your contacts. The FDA now wants a rapid at-home testing for COVID-19. Identify Sensors Biologics Corp, working with Purdue University scientists, is developing tests that just may work to save lives and keep us all safe. It works on your prepared saliva in about 30 minutes. It's very specific for COVID-19. It sends its results to your phone via Bluetooth. Well, it's so simple and inexpensive that you'll be able to test yourself daily if you want to. You'll probably be able to find this test at the closest pharmacy, like a CVS or a Walmart. And eventually, you'll be able to test yourself not only for COVID, but for other diseases. And that's just the start. Watch what else we hope to do. And now I would like to welcome Dr. Greg Hummer, the CEO and founder of Identify Sensors, who you just saw at the tail end of that video to talk to us about what's really happening with this exciting development of at-home COVID testing. Greg, thank you for being with us and welcome. It's great to be here, Lauren. Thank you. So tell us, you have developed a completely unique approach to medical testing in general and home testing for COVID specifically. Uh, tell us what it is and why is it better? Well, this is a real giant leap in laboratory medicine, and uh, we're paving the way. And we've been very successful in the lab, and we're about ready to get out of the lab. And the reason it's so important is because it's a self-test that you literally can do on yourself at home. It takes uh, about five minutes to get the answer, generally within 30 minutes. It sends it to your cell phone goes up to the cloud and does the reporting and tells you if you have COVID, yes or no, and all within about 30 minutes. So it's a real breakthrough. It's like having a laboratory in your medicine cabinet. So it's really the, the first true at-home test, right? You never have to leave your house. It's true. They, there's a lot of at-home tests. They say at-home, but what that means is you collect your saliva at home. And our test is a saliva test, so it's even easier to do, and we've made it dirt simple. So, and I don't have to send anything out. I get immediate results, and I can do it, if I understand, I can do it every single day. I mean, there's no limit to how many times or who can test using the same reader. Is that correct? That is correct, Lauren. And in fact, that's the key to success in beating this pandemic is you can have a RT-PCR test one minute, which costs $150, but the next day you could get COVID and then you don't know and you spread it around and then it's too late, you get sick. With this test, you can just do it every day because it's not that expensive. That's incredible. And so the one-time investment of the reader and then the cartridges that go with it are really you know, just yours to use. That's and correct. There's, there's a reader which we're hoping to use for other tests in the future because this science applies to tests like influenza A, influenza B, hepatitis C, all kinds of diseases that you'll be able to do at home and the reader will be the constant. And then what you do is you get a, a uh, what we call a cartridge with a specific electrode. And in this case, it will be for COVID-19 you put your saliva on the electrode, put it in the reader, and you get your answer within 30 minutes. Wow. So 
I, I get that I can do that. I love that I can use this concept, you know, even beyond COVID because it, it just does give me hope that there will be a day that we say we are beyond COVID. Um, but talk to me for a minute about, about false negatives, positives, false results. We've seen a lot of those with the existing tests. Is that not a concern with this one? No, it's not so much a concern as what's uh, being billed as the fast rapid test today. Those are lateral, they call them lateral flow or paper tests. Those tests have a very high false positive reading, sometimes as much as 30%. This is not that test. Those are chemical tests. This is a molecular test, just like the golden standard that is available uh, to most people in through laboratory, through labs like LabCorp and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we're a molecular test, we're not a chemical test. And uh, it's done without all the moving parts that the current gold standard test, we removed all the gold moving parts. You literally put your saliva, unprepared saliva on the electrode, no amplification, and you get your test results. So it sounds, correct me if I'm wrong, it sounds like this could actually be the key to getting us back to real life. That if we have a test that we can use daily and actually know our status, then maybe restaurants could open, airlines could fly. Does that sound You're correct? absolutely correct, Lauren, because then you'll have a reading on your cell phone that says you don't have it. And if you don't have it, you can go out. You can go to school, you can go to the restaurants. People can go back to work. If you have it that day, you stay home and you can test yourself every day until you turn negative and then go back to work or back to school. It's so interesting. I just received an email this morning from one of my doctor's offices saying that if you require a procedure that requires a mask off, you're going to need to show a negative COVID test within 48 hours, like from the past 48 hours. Um, which is almost impossible to do if you try to schedule with a doctor's office. Good luck with that, because yeah. most of, the more and more we test, the longer and longer uh, the results go out farther into the point where you're waiting for four or five days, maybe even longer. Well, I okay. think I told you when we spoke earlier that you know, I'm kind of living in a COVID house where my niece was exposed at school and and now everybody's on lockdown and waiting for test results. Everybody's fine and nobody has any symptoms, but it's scary. And it seems to me that we could really benefit from your test right now. So when is this going to be available? That's a great question. We're working diligently in the lab at Purdue with our team. We've got a little mini Manhattan project going. And um, by the way, if there's anybody out there that's got a really good handle on molecular biology. We're looking for really bright people right now. But oh, it yeah, looks yeah. like we're going to be actually manufacturing sometime in July, which is really a, an amazing thing. A lot of people think we've been working on this just for the last, you know, since March, but really the, the research goes back all the way to 2016. So we know that this works. It's just a matter of getting it out and manufacturing it soon. So that's, that's what we're thinking about. And by the way, I don't believe that this pandemic is going to go away that quick. We're probably going to be uh, in this pandemic for the next two years. The pandemic of 1918 lasted three years. So, uh, and when January and February and March come along with the high flu season, it's gonna be very confusing. People are going to wanna know, do I have COVID? Do I have the flu? That's another thing that we can do with this test, by the way, we can multiplex this test. And actually in, in the future, the not too distant future, one cartridge, you'll put one cartridge in and it'll tell you if you have COVID-19 or influenza A or influenza B. From a single cartridge? Yes. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So um, where will we find it? Will it be in drugstores? Is there gonna be some special thing? Well, uh, you should be able to take, buy this over the counter in CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, or any kind of drugstore that's available. It'll be a very simple test. It, it'll be on saliva. So that way the FDA will approve it. And actually 
with the automatic reporting through the cell phone app, that's the key. The digital signal that comes out can be manipulated. It's not a colorometric chemical test like all these other tests. So we can pass the signal via Bluetooth to an app on a smartphone, send it to the cloud, analyze it, and then automatically do the reporting to the CDC and the appropriate state health lab, which is really the key. And if we had a test like this at the beginning back in January and February, I think it'd be a whole different situation right now with our economy. Wow, I, I have to agree. And it sounds also like this is going to change the face of medicine. Um, I know, you know, telemedicine has become really dominant now because nobody wants to go out and see their doctor. Um, but this sounds like it's the next level. It, it certainly is. Uh, I train at the Cleveland Clinic Hospital, probably one of the best hospitals in the world. And I can tell you that laboratory medicine has kind of been stuck in, uh, you know, over the last 30, 40 years in, you know, a still position. It hasn't really advanced that much, but this is a giant leap. And I think, you know, before you used to go to your doctor and he would tell you what you have. Now you're going to be able to go to your doctor and say, I have Lyme disease. I tested at home or I have this disease. I tested at home. And then they'll be able to tell you uh, what to do. So it's a, it's a good thing. Yeah, it sounds like a great thing. So I'll be able to share the results with my doctor and let my doctor prescribe treatment or tell me what's next. And it sounds like I can do it much more immediately than waiting for most tests that take days and days to get results. So I saw the other day in the news, a line of cars that was huge at Dodger Stadium, just waiting for a COVID test. And I was thinking, how ridiculous is that? Yeah, we need to get you, what's it gonna take to accelerate your process? Are you already through all of the FDA approvals? No, we're, we're just accumulating the data now to do the EUA, which is emergency use authorization for FDA. And we're at the point right now where we intend to uh, raise a little bit of money to be able to uh, advance this a little faster. Well, I have a feeling if um, phone calling your congressperson and asking for this to be accelerated has any impact at all after this show, there are going to be some phone calls going out. So I'll be one of them, right? Leading the pack. Well, that would be great. <laughs> Thanks, so Lauren. How can, how can our viewers find you? How can they get more information? Well, they can go to our website, which is identifysensors.com, and there's some videos there, and there's some information. There's a cute little whiteboard display that shows you how it actually works. So they, you can do that, and um, I think that's the, probably the best way to get in touch with us also if you have any questions. Perfect. Greg, thank you. Dr. Greg Hummer, thank you for joining us. And go to identifysensors.com, get the information. This may just be the most exciting breakthrough we've heard to date. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lauren. Have a pleasant afternoon. Thank you. You too. And we'll okay. be right back.